CBS, welcome home. Hey, this is a nice surprise. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Something wrong? Mark, remember when you got on my case for keeping secrets from you? Like when I found out you were working on the Melzone case. I thought we agreed to be totally and completely honest with each other from now on. Well, haven't we? Well, one of us has, but it isn't you. burn, huh? Something like that. You look very motivated. Well, you know, after that ride the other day, I just felt so great. I just decided to get a little more active again. I felt good, too, because I survived. You almost finished, I hope? Almost. Now listen, ever since you agreed to team up with me, I've been thinking. And? And I know you have a lot of great ideas, Connor, but I think I've come up with something for us that can't miss. Ryder? <laughs> you got my mess? Yeah, I did. I'm over right after school, so what is it? <laughs> Come on. No. No, Come on, no. live oh. life. <laughs> mm. So, you haven't answered me yet. What is it? What's the big rush? What, they called off your house to rest? No, no, I called it off. What? Yeah, just for tonight. But I need you to help me get around it. Look, I know what to do. Lisa's coming away with me, and we're not coming back until I'm in charge of Get Real. One way or another. There now. You're all packed and ready for our cruise. You really didn't have to do that for it me. It was my pleasure. I want to know how you're doing. Oh, I'm fine. Uh, those Chinese herbs, I don't know what they were, but they worked wonders. Uh, the pain is almost bearable. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad, but you still have to be careful. Um, those guys really roughed you up. Now, you just remember what Dr. Bob said. Yes, to uh, take good care of myself. But really, the way you're coddling me... Oh, well, now, I just refuse to let you re-injure yourself. In fact, Martin, I'm even wondering about this plane trip. Is that a good idea, all that jostling around? Mm, look, th this trip's going to be a real tonic uh, for both of us. So, to the airport, shall we? Oh, but no, no it's, it's too early. Well, well it'll minimize the um, jostle factor. <laughs> you and your jostle thing. No, I'm being serious. I mean, it's much better to get there early. We can relax, check in at our leisure, and have a drink. No, 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 no. I think you'd be much better off just relaxing here at the apartment than being in that sterile VIP room. Besides, I, uh, I promised Barbara I would not leave until she got back. Barbara. Look, I know you two are very close, but why do you constantly defer to her? I don't defer to her. Yes, you do. You, you can never do anything without meeting her approval. That isn't true at all. Why would you even say such a thing? Look, it, it's obvious that she doesn't want you to go away with me. We agree on that. Well, yes, and I told her I was going to go anyway. So if the decision has been made, why are we waiting? Because Barbara sounded upset to me, and I think as her friend, I, I ought to find out what's going on. You really don't know, do you? No, I don't. Why? Do you? As a matter of fact, yes. I think I do. Lindbergh made better time. Well, for once, you're right. Why didn't you tell me you were going to be late? They have telephones on these airplanes now. I had an exhausting flight. Would you lay off of me, please? I hope please? you didn't check your luggage. No, I didn't. I just had this carry-on, that's all. Here. That'll save us some time. I Let's didn't go. fly the plane, John. Why didn't you just tell Lisa on the telephone? You know that her boyfriend's Because abroad. she never would have believed me. She's determined to go to the South Pacific, but this will stop her. Now, come right. on. Get me to her place. <sighs>
as the world turns. Brought to you today by Always, the only maxis with a unique dry weave top sheet. Always. Some women think scents and fragrance can help control odor, but scented panty liners just mask odor. New All Days panty liners from Always can actually help absorb it. New All Days panty liners are the only unscented liner with a unique odor absorbing core and dry weave top sheet to pull moisture and odor inside, away from you. So don't just mask odor, control it. New All Days odor absorbing panty liners from Always give you nothing but a clean feeling longer. These two guys have a long day ahead of them, and a bad call. Sergeant Smith is taking Robitussin DM, while Officer Long is taking VIX-44. How do they compare? VIX-44 looks and feels more soothing, and relieves coughs up to eight hours, while Robitussin should be taken every four. So guess who's going for more cough medicine? And who's still going strong? Maximum Strength VIX-44. Get the most from just one dose. I kind of think that you got to just let a kid be a kid. Bridget Jones and her mom, Barbara. She gets a favorite outfit. She lives in it. You literally have to peel the clothes off of them sometimes. I had seen this commercial on TV. Oshkosh recommended what to wash it in. They said it could get stains out and keep colors bright. Wash after wash. Tide's activated bleaching system is unbeatable at removing many tough stains, while special ingredients help keep cotton colors bright wash after wash. They weren't kidding. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Good thing her little sister likes hand-me-downs. You think I'm keeping something from you? I know you are. Jones, what's this all about? You don't have the slightest idea? No. And look, I know I have a lot to uh, work on when it comes to relationships, and when we got married, I said I'd be above board on everything, and I meant it. So if I slipped up, I want to hear it. Okay. Explain this. I found it in the front hall closet. This was supposed to be a surprise. For me? Well, remember I said I wanted to build us a house? Well, these are the plans. A house. I thought you forgot. Well, I didn't. I had to see this architect about another project, so since I was there, I asked him if he'd be interested in drawing up some plans. He's one of the best in the business. Surprises aren't considered secrets, right? When we talked about building a house, you said that we could design it together. Jones, these are just preliminary plans. We can modify them, change them, throw them out if you want. I just think it's easier if we have a starting point. We still have to find a nice lot. We still have to figure out where we want to live. I found a few lots. I've scouted them out if you want to check them out with me. <laughs> hey, you're not still mad at me, are you? Um, maybe a little bit. I'm sorry. Just because we can't begin right now. Well, good things are worth waiting for. How about a guided tour? A guided tour? Yeah, forget the blueprint. Oh, good. I am so bad at reading those things anyway. Okay, all you have to do is use your imagination. Turn around. Okay. Close your eyes. Close okay. your eyes. Okay. So right now we are in our little love nest. <laughs> Can you hear the birds? Come on, work with me on this. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm hearing birds. I can hear them. Good. All right. Now, this is a two-story Cape Cod. White with black shutters? You got it. Oh. <laughs> so where do you want to start the tour? Uh, How about the kitchen? Uh, already he is worried about my cooking. <laughs> All right. Anywhere. Lead the way. Okay. It's in the back. Come on. Okay, so right now we're walking through the back door. <laughs> All right. Okay. Pantry's on the left. Mm -hmm. Kitchen's on the right. A little breakfast nook in a bay window <laughs> looking out over your garden. My garden? Well, you wanted a garden, didn't you? Oh, yeah. With lots of old-fashioned roses and hollyhocks. Oh, and lots of pink and white peonies growing along the old stone wall. Oh, well, it's your garden. Mm. I can't believe this. <laughs> Hold that thought. We're right back. Okay. You guys off construction. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Yeah, well, you gave us a deadline. We don't fool around. We got our best guys out there. Now, 
then I have your undivided attention. Guess who I ran into? I don't know. Who? Paul Ryan, who happens to be the key to our future. Paul Ryan. That's right. You know why he's back in town, don't you? Yeah, he's launching some new interactive uh, home shopping network. No, 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 not some. The interactive shopping network. I mean, everybody's been talking about how to make money on the Internet. He has got a way that's going to work. And with the lines between TV and computer being blurred, this thing is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. You sound sold. I am. There's just one problem. What's that? I don't see what EAS does for us. I mean, we didn't think of the idea. Paul did. We can still get our hooks into it. We did business with Paul a few years ago, right? So that's just going to make him jump up and say, here, take some no, of no, my no, profits no, 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 my no, business. No, 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 no. No. Fact is, I have come up with a way for EAS to make even more money that he hasn't even thought of. I'm talking the three of us. I'm talking synergy. And I'm talking big bucks. He's going to flip for this idea. And so were you. Could Dad be right about Tilton? He does control an awfully large block of stock. Better have Sarah give him a call. Leave your name, number, and a message after the beep, and we will get Where back. are you? Sarah, it's Paul. If, if you're there, pick up. Call as soon as you get this. Something's come up and I What are you waiting for? Answer the man. I think we may have a problem. I'm not ready yet, Zoe. Maybe it's just a red flag. But... Zoe, you were flying high in Chicago. Anyway, what happened? I need to discuss it with you. I don't know. Maybe I came back okay, to Earth. so I'm rambling. Meaning what? I do need to hear from you. Meaning the Call new, supposedly improved okay? Sarah was buying at the spa. But I don't know if I can face Paul. What if he sees through me? First of all, this is definitely the improved Sarah. And secondly, he asked you to call him. He doesn't have phone vision, you know. What are you afraid of? That my new look could backfire. How? Zoe, the one thing that Paul and I have is a great working relationship. So? So, if he sees me now, he may not take me seriously as a business partner. Uh, excuse me, Sarah, but isn't that what you wanted? Madam says nothing cleans windows better than her blue cleaner. Madam says her windows look glorious lately. Madam doesn't know I've switched to new cinch in the orange bottle. It's even dry action streaks less than the leading blue cleaner. And look! How quickly new cinch cuts grease. So I may never need a second cleaner. Madam needs to know I've bagged her blue cleaner, too. I doubt she's ever looked in the cleaning closet. Or she'd know about these. New cinch. It does great windows. And then some. What do you want? Something sinfully sweet. Warm and gooey and chewy. Moist and fudgy. The slower and fat, the taste terrific. You want Duncan Hines Get It All Lower Fat Recipe. Only on Duncan Hines Mixes. Just add Mott's applesauce instead of oil for home-baked treats with lower fat and the irresistible taste of Duncan Hines. Duncan Hines. Hot stuff. The makers of Children's Tylenol Cold know that when kids get colds, it's one symptom on top of another. I'm all snuffled up and I'm burning hot. My throat gets all red and my nose drips and drips a lot. I hate that. I go a two, a two. <laughs> Children's Tylenol Cold Plus Cough is all you need. It's the only brand of kids' medicine that relieves all their cold symptoms. This is my mom when I'm feeling better. Children's Tylenol Cold Plus Cough. The only one you need. I have a VTech learning pet. I know lots of numbers. And counting super high is such a cinch. I can spell and read all kinds of words on a VTech learning pad. Welcome to the amusement park. I can draw on my TV. Look, this is me. This is my brain. The learning pad, new from VTech, designed to develop minds. Tonight, The Late Show from Washington, D.C. with Bob Dole, Mary Chapin Carpenter, and Ted Koppel. The Late Show in D.C. tonight, only on CBS. I want Paul to respect me for what I bring to EAS. 
not for what I look like. And you think if you show up looking a little sexier, you're going to lose that? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Sal, just because a woman's a dynamo in the boardroom doesn't mean she has to spend every waking second in tailored suits and practical fronts. I mean, don't you understand? You're allowed to have another side of you. That's what makes being a woman so interesting. And as far as I'm concerned, I think you've overdone the career thing. Oh, as opposed to the come and get me thing? As opposed to letting Paul see there's more to you. Oh, yeah, he'll see a lot more of me if, if I wear that new dress we bought. Well, good. It's called maximizing your assets. Make Paul notice you. Zoe, what if he's oblivious? <laughs> Listen to yourself. One minute you're afraid he's going to be turned off, the next minute he won't even notice. Zoe, I am nervous about it, okay? Okay. Let me introduce you to the world according to Zoe Crane, okay? Men, ma chérie, are dogs. And in that dress, you are filet mignon. Got it? Now go on and cozy up to Paul. And trust me, he is going to go, woof, woof, woof. Why? You think I'm kidding? No, the more I talk to you about this, the more I realize how crazy it is. I can't even believe that I'm actually taking it seriously. Exactly, exactly. Don't take it seriously. Just relax. Come here, come here, come here, come here. For God's sake, Sarah, look at yourself. Look at it. You're a knockout. You know, you've always been pretty, and now you're just... Really okay already. I mean, my looks are fine. You know what your problem is? You think there's something wrong with being beautiful. I do not. Yeah, you do. In your mind, people who make the most of their looks are shallow and self-absorbed. No, but I, I don't think that appearance should be such a big deal, that's all. Hey, hey, you're right, if that's all a person has going for them. But, Sal, you've got smarts, too. You know, you should be feel good about all of you. Well, I do. You know, okay, if you were going to war, right, wouldn't you use everything in your arsenal to win? Yeah. Well, then this, this is war. And if you expect Paul to see that you're more than just a shrewd business partner, you gotta show him. And that means using your brains, your looks, your so sense of humor. Make it sound so. So what? So calculated. Sarah. <laughs> Sometimes that's what it takes. In fact. What? In fact, if you care about Paul as much as I think you do, then maybe you should get out there and start circulating. Oh, circulating as in dating other men. Hey, if that's what it takes. So we come on. What? Sometimes that's what it takes in order to get a man to notice you. Well, who wants a man like that? You do! So go on up there and pour that dress on you and go sick him. I think you forgot. He's the dog. I'm the flaming mignon, remember? And I'm just not going to pin all of my hopes on a dress. Sarah, it's not just the dress. It's how you feel in it, how you act oh, in now it. Now you're quoting the people from the spa, Zoe. I thought this makeover was supposed to be from the inside out. This isn't just about looks, though. This is a whole new dimension to you. It's your attitude, how you carry yourself. You know, Pa's going to go crazy trying to figure out how you did it. First, he's going to think it's the dress, then the makeup. But I guarantee you, he's definitely going to see you differently now. That is what you want, right? You know, ever since I ran into Paul, my mind's been going at warp speed. Wow, that fast, huh? Yeah. The fact is, EAS is roaring across the bridge to the 21st century. Now, if we can find a way to jump on, and I'll tell you what, we can make some huge dollars. Okay, and exactly how do we jump on this moving train? Okay. This is how. Now, EAS is going to need a tremendous amount of profit, right? Yeah, and if I know Paul, he's got that covered, so what... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Do you know something? Well, I know that he's locked up a lot of high-end designers. I know he's going for luxury goods. That's why he wants Zoe as a spokesperson. Well, it makes sense. He's going after the big spenders. He's studied the demographics. Yeah, well, so have I. 
and of course the customers he's going after will do most of their shopping and peak hours. Prime time all the way. That's right. But that's where we come in. Paul's into class marketing. We're going to focus in on mass marketing. I'm talking about off hours. I'm talking late night, early morning. Demographics are different, but still potentially lucrative, okay? It's a different approach. It's a different product line, but lower profit margin, but lower costs also. Okay, I have a, one question. What? Why is Paul going to want to cut us in? Because this is the one area he's completely neglected. I mean, everybody writes off the wee hours as dead time, but my numbers indicate that's not necessarily so. Wow, you, you've really come up with something here. This is great. So you with me? I love this. I'm with you all the way. All right. Well, come on now. Get into a power suit. We got a meeting with Paul. Hurry. Renner, you are not going to do anything to violate your probation. Yeah, well, nobody's going to find out. About yeah, right. My dad's a cop, remember? So what are you going to tell him? No, I'm not going to tell him. You know how this works, right? You have to wear that pager at all times. You have to be either at home or, or at work. If they page you, you have to call them in 10 minutes from the exact minutes, right. location. Yeah, or they come and get me. I know. Yeah, and you have to be at the Hughes's before 7. No exceptions. Yeah, well, they haven't come to get me yet, all right? Well, because you've been there, Ryder. Yeah, think the first time that I'm not sitting there on the couch sipping cocoa, they're going to nab me? Look, all I know is that if you get caught, Judge Cullum will put you in jail. <sighs> Ryder, come on. Why are we even talking about this? Yeah, look. This is risk-free. If I duck out tonight, nothing bad's gonna happen. And how can you be so sure? That's where you come in. Yoo-hoo! Pick me. Oh, no, no, no. Pick me! No, no. Not her. No, no, no. Saturday, November 9th, is JCPenney's biggest sale of the year. From 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., you'll save on thousands of things in every JCPenney department. Are you so proud? <laughs> Celebrates the video release of Disney's Toy Story with some really big toys. Did I say big? <laughs> Buy any tasty value meal and get your kids one of these large talking toys for just $2.69. I'm talking large and in shock. Get Buzz, oh, Woody, yeah, and their cool RC racer. Get them all three Toy Story toys only at Burger King. <clears throat> this is going to be big. Heartburn Facts from the American College of Gastroenterology. Heartburn was ruining my life. I gave up spicy foods, tried different medicines, nothing got rid of my heartburn completely. Was something really wrong? Was there nothing I could do? If you have heartburn two or more times a week or don't get complete relief on your medicine, you may have something more serious, acid reflux disease. Call 1-800-HRT-BURN for free information, then see your doctor. It was more serious than heartburn. With the doctor's help, I finally got complete relief. I haven't felt this good in years. Eureka's clean air system has built-in motor fan protection. It's quiet. Ergonomic handle. A real backsaver. Instant tool conversion. Victory Boss 10 amps. Victory Powerline Plus 12 amps. 15 inches wide. Cleans fast. Victory Boss. Powerline Plus. Eureka. A life-threatening delivery. I don't care to save my son! Blake's problems are far from over. If there's a choice between my son and my wife, you save Blake. Now have the lies caught up with her. Are you going to keep quiet or are you going to tell Ross that one of these babies is yours? Only time will tell. My entire world will be over. You have to help me, Rick. This week on Guiding Light. Those amazing new playgrounds and the man who designs them travels with Harry tonight. Okay. I have got all the bags down by the door. I've called the car, and I still think it's too early for us to leave. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, shall we go? I uh, no. Uh, no, no, no. We're not going anywhere. Not until you tell me what she thinks on Barbara's mind. <laughs> Lisa, if you weren't such a nice person, you know already. Look, the fact is... Well, Barbara is jealous of you. Jealous? Why would she be jealous of me? <laughs> There's no way I can tell you this without sounding frightfully conceited, but... Look, you remember when I first came to Oakdale? You recall how many times you tried to fix me up with Barbara? But because I was only interested in you... Oh, wait a minute, you, you think that, that Barbara is... Oh, well, please, please don't, don't misunderstand me. I, I, I'm not setting myself up as some great prize. Far from it, but... Well, it's been a, a long time now since Barbara was separated from her husband, and I think she's just terribly lonely. 
Yeah, although she has been on her own quite some time. Well, yeah, remember with the fundraiser? She yeah. came unescorted. Same with your birthday party. I, you know, look, I, I know, I did, it is true, I tried to put the two of you together, but you know, she was as reluctant as you. Lisa, this isn't about me. It's about the lack in Barbara's life. Uh, well, no, even if she were jealous, but she wouldn't give in to that. Look, we're best friends. These are people change, even best friends, especially when they both want the same thing. Come on, can't you walk any faster oh, than that? Oh, for Pete's sake, John, wait up. I'm wearing heels. Can't you see that? Yeah. Why did I stay in the car and let you go for help? You know something, if you recall, that's exactly what I suggested. Well, excuse me, but I'm not going to sit in the car in the middle of nowhere can't while you, you leave me alone. stop complaining for a minute? What kind of man drives around without a spare tire in his car? A man who's got more important things on his mind, and if you had gone to the trouble to copy the one report that we have, we wouldn't be in this jail, Wait, Rihanna. Just a Oh, no, but you have to take it with you, down Martin in New Orleans. Martin Shedwin was at his deathbed yesterday. How was I supposed to know he was going to the world? You didn't think he was going to try to get her out of town right away. How was I supposed to know he was going to do it today? Come on, we're wasting time. Oh, for Pete. Oh, 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 no. Now what? Oh, I broke my heel. Oh. 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 What are you doing? I can't walk on this, John. Take the other shoe off and you walk on your bare feet. Now, come on, we're wasting time. If you were Bella Caroli, you'd carry me. Listen, I neglected to tell you this morning. I went to see Zoe Crane and Sarah Kazanoff. What for? Well, you know, they were in Hong Kong with Lisa when she met Chedwin. I thought they could tell me something oh, about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He came to her aid when she... Had her purse snatched. Yeah, I'll tell you, about that purse snatch, I think that's a setup. A setup? Yeah, sure. Chedman could have hired somebody to steal the purse. That's no problem. So then he comes to the rescue, he looks like the big hero. Just like he did on that airplane flight to New York. Oh, wow. Sure. I bet he had her pegged as a pigeon when she got off that airplane. That never occurred to me. That's a possibility, though, no? It's a possibility, yes. Oh. You know these, uh, people that, uh... Lisa's doing business with over there? Some of them, yes. Were they all recommended by Chedwin? It wouldn't surprise me. Well, don't you think, as a so-called businesswoman, you should check out these contacts? <laughs> hey! 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 Hello, Dead Colbert, you're not. And you're no Terry Grant. This is the 90s. You really think you ought to be stopping truck drivers? What's so good about the taste of apple cinnamon Cheerios? Mm. It's an apple thing, right? Mm. Definitely the cinnamon. No way. It's the baked in cake. Sliced apples, cinnamon, and brown sugar baked right into every little O of apple cinnamon Cheerios. Baked in taste. That's what makes them good. Young Erica always wanted to be a doctor. Say, ah! Luckily, she found Checkup Charlie, the game that lets kids pretend they're the doctor. Who we'll has to run some tests? Charlie might be sick. Oh, no, Icky Wicky! Oh, look! He's got butterflies in his stomach. But he might be just fine. Charlie! Charlie! First one to complete all four checkups becomes head doctor. Charlie! You're A-OK! -okay. Checkup Charlie from Milton Bradley. Just wait till he gets my bill. <laughs> Got a headache? Take Tylenol, Advil, or Aspirin. But for a toothache, Maximum Strength Orogel gives faster relief. Pain relief pills take up to 30 minutes to work. But Orogel gives instant relief. Orogel. Because faster is better. I just figured out how to look really healthy. And you barely have to lift a finger. Ah! The new Nice and Easy. The only hair color with Healthy Shine Conditioner. With all this Healthy Shine, ah, my colors never look better. Ooh. <laughs> See, it's got this nutrient-enriched formula. Look how my color shines. I've never felt so healthy. Why does everyone else look so tired? The new Nice and Easy from Clairol. Now with healthy shine. My hair is so shiny. Ow! We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. 
Marquee your calendars. It's an unforgettable reunion. I think you are absolutely terrific. Well, who am I to argue with that? <laughs> Marky Post guests on Dave's World. Then, critics say Raymond looks like a winner. You lost $2,300 to your father? Relax. We're going to get the money back. How? When he dies. Oh. Everybody loves Raymond. After Dave's World, CBS tonight. Simpson denies harassing the court intern at the civil trial. But now meet the woman who says she was the object of his desire during the criminal trial. OJ's fantasy juror on Hard Coffee. This afternoon at 4 on Channel 2. Collector's Art, a national distributor of oil paintings, is holding a special clearance sale this Sunday only. Paintings like this antique style floor or a rich hunt scene framed in gold at unbelievable savings. Plus over 4,000 paintings to be sold out at $49 or less. $49. Incredible. It's Collector's Art this Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. In Arlington Heights at the Arlington Park Hilton. In Oak Lawn at the Hilton. In Skokie at the Holiday Inn. In Oak Brook at the Hyatt Regency. In Matson at the Holiday Inn. In St. Charles at the Pheasant Run Resort. In Mundelein at the Holiday Inn. And in Maryville at the Radisson Star Plaza. At last, it's here, Riverdance, the Irish music and dance sensation of the decade, out now on video. Relive the magic, Riverdance, now yours to own on video. A closer look at the Kennedy Chicago love affair tonight on 2 News at 10. CBS, welcome home. And now, part two of As the World Turns. Got a proposition for you, Paul. That's what Kirk said. Uh, but first, if I could, I'd like to clear the air. It's no secret that I've made some bad moves at Kingsley Malta and at Worldwide. Embezzling company funds, yes. I heard about that. But you haven't heard the whole story, especially when it involves Worldwide. Look, you know how I feel about Lucinda. So if you could just tell me what this has to do with me. I just want you to give me the benefit of the doubt and hear us out. That's all. Now, Paul, I always knew you were a smart guy. But this, come on, EAS is a monster of an idea. Thank you for noticing. You've worked with Connor and me in the past. We both have solid track records. We're media savvy. We're both creative. And once we get involved in a project, we produce. If you're willing to make me some money, then I'll definitely listen. All right, this is what we want to do. We would like to buy a block of time from EAS. The overnight hours. We think we can turn that time slot into a cash cow for EAS and for us. Kirk and I will assume all the risk. That means programming, promotion, Negotiation with the vendors will handle all the details. Worked up a few numbers. Including our proposed percentage split, which you'll notice is a sliding scale with a lot of upfront protection for you. Now, obviously, the audience skews a lot younger than prime time, but we believe that they still have tremendous buying power. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. The one gap in my plan, and you zeroed right in on it. So you think you might be interested? Yeah. I think this could work. Okay, we're prepared to start with the 2 to 5 a.m. slot, but once we I need to run this by my second-in-command first. No problem. We'd be happy to brief him any time it's convenient for him. It's actually a her, not a him. She seems to have disappeared on me, though. If you'll excuse me. again. Yeah, I know. I recognize the way. Answer it! I can't. I can't. Do you realize what would have happened to all those famous couples if they never answered the phone? There'd be no Romeo and Juliet, no John, John and Carolyn, no Pamela and Tommy Lee. I don't think that Romeo and Juliet had phones. Okay, fine. Scratch them. You know what I mean. Hi. Where the heck are you? Look, I have some people here who've put a proposal on the table that looks promising, and I need your input right away. Will you please call? You know what? Better yet, get yourself over here so we can move on this. So, avoiding the man, that, that's your bold plan? I don't know, Zoe. <sighs> Fine. Then I want my money back. I didn't play fair godmother so you can look good for your brothers, you know. Don't worry. 
It's not him. He just hung up, remember? Hey. Hello. What, are you expecting somebody else? Whoa! Sarah? What happened to you? Friar, what could be so important that you are willing to risk jail time? Mike Kasnoff is racing out at Cedarville tonight. Yeah? He asked me to be one of his pit mechanics. Well, obviously he doesn't know about your house arrest or he would have asked you in the first place. Nick, look, this is my dream, all right, to actually be down in the pit. You know, to be a part of a race. I didn't even have to think twice. Well, you didn't think. Come on. So he doesn't know about this, right? My house arrest? No, no, he doesn't have to. <sighs> look, I've got it all figured out, all right? All we need is for you to wear my beeper. If a page comes in, you call back, and you come up with some kind of excuse as to why some I can't make it Some kind of excuse, phone. Ryder? Like what? I don't know. You'll think of something. And what makes you think your probation officer is going to believe me? Well, why wouldn't? <sighs> Ryder, if you're going to do this, why don't you just wear the beeper and you call in, huh? Because I'm going to be at the track, and there's going to be plenty of noise going on. Engines, crowd. Besides... <laughs> If I'm crewing for Mike, it's not like they're going to stop the race so I can go answer some stupid page. They don't have a flag for that. Clint, don't do it. Nick, I have to do it. How many chances am I going to get to be involved with something like this? It means that much. Would I ask you to go out on a limb for me if it didn't? Look, I love racing, all right? And it's something that I think I might actually be good at. You don't get a chance like this twice. So you help me or not? Hey, looks like you're eating potato soup too. Actually, it's potato with roasted garlic. Roasted garlic? Looks better than mine. Warm up to a new taste. Campbell's home cooking new potato with roasted garlic soup. Are those chives? Uh-huh. Flavorful potatoes, select herbs and spices, blend to create a taste you only get from home cooking. Like a taste? Sure. Honey, could you get me a bowl of home cooking for our neighbor? Campbell's Home Cooking. Great taste never looked better. It figures that Sarah would catch the flu at kindergarten the moment her mom left the office. Ah, but there's a remedy. Mom has MCI-1. The nurse just dials one number, and like magic, that one call goes to mom's office, then her cell phone, and right to her pager. Excuse me, I've got to make a call. Mom to the rescue. She may be out, but she's never out of touch. MCI-1. Life just got simpler. Actual House Italian Espresso Roast. Full-bodied but not bitter. Brew a whole pot in your regular coffee maker. Because it's much too enjoyable for those little white cups. And it's always good to the last drop. I'm itching for love. I'm playing the the next time you say you're going to slip into something more comfortable, why don't you? Fruit of the Loom. Really, really comfortable casual wear. The toys are back in town, back in action, and coming to your home. You can hang with Woody, Buzz, Slinky, Bo, and Potato Head. It's Mr. Potato Head to you. Disney's Toy Story on video. Rated G. Did I say something to upset you? Yes. No. Oh, well, now that we've cleared that one up. Do you think the makeup's too heavy? <laughs> Sarah, you look terrific. Come on, you're just being nice. No, I, I look shocked. It, it's because, you know, it's because you're not little Sarah anymore. I mean, you... you Beautiful? You, okay, it's the word. Do you mean it? always doing anyway. Um, what? Yeah, she, uh, she took me to this incredible spa in, in Chicago, and they perform miracles. Yeah, I gotta tell you, this new look of yours is, uh, it's all right. 
See? Now has it finally sunk in? You just got an unsolicited thumbs up from an M.A.N. Hey. Hey. Okay, okay, I'm gonna call him. Yes. Him who? Why don't you be a sweetheart and get us each glass of water? Sure. I live to serve. With lots of ice, please. Oh. And take your time. Sarah, I'm sorry that I've been so out of touch. Look, I need you over here. Right now? You know we have people to meet. Right, the proposal. Um, this isn't a good time right now, though, Paul. Why not? Because... We need to discuss this today. Fine. But c could we discuss it in private first? Um, I, I just think it would be difficult to be candid if, if they're right there. Why don't we just meet for a drink and then you can um, explain the whole deal to me and we can make sure we're on the same page before we actually talk to them. All right, the Lakeview Terrace. Okay, um, I, I will be there as soon as I can. I'm very sorry that she was tied up today. It's okay, we completely understand. You will get back to us, right? Absolutely, just as soon as I can. Right. Well, we look forward to hearing from you. I appreciate you coming by, and I want you to know that your proposal definitely has merit. I'm sure your associate will approve also. Oh, I suspect she will, yes. Okay, well, I guess we'll wait to get a go-ahead from you before we put an organization in place, but when we get that, Kirk will be handling the technology, and I will be in charge of production and the creative end, so studio setup, graphics, and so on. Okay, so, Kirk, you'll be working closely with me, and I'll set you up with my designers and construction people. Sounds good. Good. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Sure. I saved the best for last. Okay, where are we now? In front of our house. <gasps> what, what are you doing? Carrying my bride over the threshold. Oh. So what do you think your new home, Mrs. Castle? Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. You're wonderful. I want you to be happy. Mm -hmm. This is your home. So if you want to make any changes, speak up now. This is where you're going to raise our kids. Where we're going to grow old together. I love you. And I love our home. I don't want to change a thing. Are you sure? You're not going to hurt my feelings. Oh, Mark. It's perfect, just the way my husband planned. Lisa, the car is downstairs. That was certainly quick. Wasn't and the it? driver's loading the luggage in now. Mm. I just hate to leave before Barbara gets back. Lisa. If and when Barbara gets here, is there a chance that she's going to persuade you not to go? No. No, of course not. That's a relief. Because, quite frankly, if she had your interests at heart, she'd be encouraging you to go. Well, perhaps she will. <laughs> frankly, I doubt that. Her trouble is that she's too involved in your life and doesn't spend enough trying to improve her own. Martin, I really think there might be a little truth in that. Yes, and it's a real shame. Oh, but you must understand, she's, she's really had such a, a difficult time lately and, and men have been so disappointing to her. Disappointing? Mm -hmm. We all have disappointments, Lisa, and we get over them. And I think sometimes some people just give up. They, they don't seem interested in taking chances or, or looking for adventure. <laughs> not like you and me. We know how to have a good time. And we are not going to let anyone get in our way. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> if you're looking for bread to serve with dinner, it's in the fridge. Really? So that's not bread behind you? Not hot homemade bread. See for yourself. Grand's biscuits? Oh, sure. My grand's bacon.
up all gold and brown on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Like homemade bread, but faster and easier. I never thought of it that way. Grand's Biscuits, hot and fresh from the oven in just 15 minutes. They're like homemade bread, only rounder. <laughs> He's got the cold, but I feel horrible. That cold medicine I gave him knocked him out. Isn't medicine supposed to make him feel better? Not worse. Introducing new non-drowsy chewables from Children's Sudafed. Nine out of ten pediatricians surveyed prefer non-drowsy cold relief. And only Sudafed has a chewable that will help clear his stuffy nose and head without drowsy side effects. Taking him all the way to better. New non-drowsy chewables from Children's Sudafed. It lets him feel better, <laughs> not worse. This group doesn't wear clothes. <laughs> they wear costumes. <laughs> Their motto, boots go with everything. Bob, you're 43. So where do I go to keep them in boots and stay within my budget? Payless. The Payless Shoe Source Boot Sale. Great looking boots for the whole family at great looking prices for your budget. You like the boots? It's a total statement. I like the boots. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? <laughs> Please pass the old fruit. Pass the planner old fruit. Would you please pass the jelly? <laughs> Polanner old fruit is sweetened only with fruit juice for that old fruit taste. Jams and preserves add sugar and corn syrup and can taste sugary sweet. We don't call it old fruit for nothing, <laughs> so please don't dare call it jelly. Polanner old fruit for that old fruit taste. All right, Mark. When you were talking about children, exactly how many did you have in mind? Let me get the calculator. Hey, I'm trying to be serious here. Okay. Well, I figure we could probably handle two. What do you think about that? Like a boy for me and a girl for you? Yeah, or two boys or two girls. Oh, my Lord. Two more Kaznoff brothers? So where's the little monster's room's gonna be? Okay, they're gonna be... Right here. Oh! Overlooking the garden. Yeah, right down the hall from our bedroom. Mm -hmm. And we have one more bedroom down here, just in case. Someone comes to visit or something? That, or if we're such good parents, maybe we want to have a bigger family. Oh, and did I tell you, there's a fireplace in the master bedroom. How did you know that I always wanted a bedroom with a fireplace in it? Mm, intuition. And there's a big stone one downstairs in the family room. Wow. And I thought I might put a basketball hoop out here on the garage. Great. Where are we going to hang our uh, Kaznoff Jones Memorial dartboard, huh? Well, what do you think? Uh, how about the master bedroom? Uh, not in my bedroom, mister. <laughs> well, you're right. That could be a little risky in case we have an argument or something. Us? Argue? Please. Impossible. Jones. Jones, I want to make a good life for us, for our family. So let's find a nice spot with lots of trees for the kids to climb on. Maybe even find a big backyard and put a barn in for a pony. Oh, <laughs> you want to do this right, don't you? You bet. You really must love me. I really do. Oh, Mark. I'm starting to believe this is all really true. That you're really mine. For better or worse. Oh, sweetheart, I don't know how it could get much better. Unless you're gonna be fun trying. Thank you, but I'm not thirsty after all. <laughs> Drink. Water's good for you. Doctor's orders. So where's Sarah? She left. She looked great, didn't she? <laughs> Sarah's always been pretty, but she really had it going on today. <laughs> Thanks yeah, to you. Me? Nah, I just took her to Chicago. The makeover mavens did the rest. Yeah. But you're the one who got her to do something for herself. Sarah doesn't do that too often. A good friend. Well, she's been a great friend to me. What are you doing here? Actually, I was hoping to find Mark. Got some plans for the clinic, wanted to get his opinion. Well, as 
as you can see, he's not here. Yeah. But may I see them? Uh, what for? <laughs> I helped you at the clinic. I just... Uh, you know, they're, they're just blueprints. Probably wouldn't mean much to you. Oh. Yeah, I'm just too stupid to be able to read blueprints, right? No. Yeah. Look, forget it. Okay? I'm the empty-headed model who wouldn't have the imagination to visualize a dollhouse, let alone a clinic. Oh, come on, Zoe. I didn't even mean it like that. Yeah, you did. But no apologies. You only make it worse. Yeah. Hello. Hi. No, no, I didn't forget. It's important to me, too. Surprise Pooh, Spinning Pooh Walker, and Read and Cuddle Friend. It's so much friendlier with Pooh. Some days, any dinner will do. But some days, you need more. Dizzy more. For some people, fancy food fads won't do. Some people want more. Dizzy more beef stew. Big, tender bites of beef, potatoes, and carrots with bread dip and gravy. So when a frozen dinner just won't do, get more Dinty More Beef Stew. If you've got a Sears card, you've got the power, the power to save. Because right now when you use your Sears card, the entire store's on sale with an extra 10% off already sale-priced items. Take 10% off regular prices, too, from the latest appliances and electronics to the greatest fashions and all the best brand names, all on sale. So get your Sears card out and get the power, the power to save. Now through Saturday only. Ryder, if this means that much to you, why don't you just call Judge Cullum? Are you out of your mind? He knows you work at Sparky's. If you explain to him that this could really help you with your job, he might even cut you some slack. Were you in the courtroom the other day? I mean, do you actually think this guy's going to cut me any slack? Come on. Besides, I don't want to risk getting turned down. You know what, Ryder? You're involving me in this, so it really just isn't about you. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. I know it's a lot to ask. You know, it, I'm not just thinking about myself, Ryder. It's just that, look, we both know what a jerk Judge Cullum is. And if you get caught, Ryder, it, it's goodbye. Uh, yeah. Well, put, put yourself in my position. I mean, in prison. No, not in prison. I mean, do you honestly think Mike couldn't get somebody else for the job? I mean, come on, Nick. There are, there's dozens of guys who would, who would love to work in that pit. I do not want to miss out on this. Look, I, I'm going to go tonight with or without your help. So, whatever you decide, I'll understand. Look, I understand. Don't worry, I'll be there. Okay. Hi. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Um, well, look, make yourself comfortable. I'm sure Mark will be here soon. Are you sure everything's all right? You seem, uh, edgy. It's nothing I can't handle, then. What's the occasion? An engagement party. <laughs> People really still do that, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, there are still optimists in the world. Party. 
Shall we go have that drink? You certainly were gallant, John. Riding in the back with the chickens while I rode up front with the driver. It was a relief to hear them squawk. Really? Well, Bubba and I certainly had a good conversation. Mm. He was a perfect gentleman. Except when he mistook my knee for the gear shift. You can't blame the guy for trying. I certainly hope she appreciates what we're doing for her. Come on, I hope she's here. Lisa? 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 When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation. I'm climbing the Alps above pure powdery snow below an alpine village.